I'm Terry Walker, and this is my scrapyard. Morning, boss. Hey, Coxie. Turn the brew. Cup of tea, please. Happy days. There's profit in every ounce of a scrap car. Yeah, 50 quid, pal. I buy them, strip them, squash them, and then flog the lot. What a good day. <laughs> I started the yard over 20 years ago, a few years after I met Lindsay, the wife. Don't go mad at spending money. Can I spend it on you, then? Oh, yeah, no problem. He just makes money out. It's just this knack he's got. I do it by employing lads that no-one else will. Individually, they're good lads. They're all right. But together, they're just like a load of hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a circus sometimes. <laughs> You've got to keep laughing, because if you don't, you'll cry. We're the sayers! Move on! I won't have the Mickey took out of me. If they do that, they're history. There's more cars to come well, up. Get them sorted! If they're sure willing, and, they've got, and, I, and I can see something in them, I won't give up on them easily. Can't get a job nowhere else. Nowhere else will have me. It's the Metro family, and it's the family that I've created from scratch. <laughs> luxury home in Bolton. Scrap King Terry Walker and his wife Lindsay are taking a welcome break from yard life. We're just making our Lindsay a glass of wine. Just got a text message off her, you know, saying, barman, wine I'm ready. I'm just cracking her a bottle of Rioja, you know. Good evening, gorgeous. What you drink? Yeah, no, Carl and the Gorgeous, I'm one of it. Cheers. You're welcome. This now is absolutely normal. Lindsay knows what I want, I know what she wants. I just come and chill in my little hovel, and Lindsay chills in her little snug. This is my sanctuary to get away from Terry and the yard and everything, just for a couple of hours a night, if I'm lucky. When we sit together, all he does is talk about work. Sit down. She knew I were boring when, I first, when we first got married. <laughs> you know, so there's no excuse. You know, all I know is about cars. Terry and Lindsay have had their ups and downs, but as they approach their 21st anniversary of working together, all is calm. No, he's not in the doghouse at the moment. He's been really good. I don't want to say we've not had an argument for three weeks, cos... My... <laughs> we haven't... We've been quite good, actually. But running a multi-million pound business is never plain sailing. That's Lindsay, she wants a drink. Especially with Terry at the helm. This is Metro Salvage, the biggest scrap metal yard in the northwest. Well, I will do you the full handle, yeah. but you're not, you're not on about the catch, are you? You don't need the catch. I don't know what's happened, but the, it, it's been locked and the wife grabbed hold of it and gave it a massive great wrench. The wife? She's gone bang. My wife. Bloody hell, she must so be it's strong. Broke. She's that wide and that's all. Is she? I won't like me throwing a dark night. No, 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 no. I sleep with an eye from the fellow. Today, business is slow, and with weekly overheads topping 25 grand, Terry is under pressure to bring the customers flooding in. That's right, that's it, both ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. IT expert Leighton has suggested boosting their online profile. He says we can't put no more posts of engines and gearboxes on Facebook because it's not funny. You know, he's saying, look, look, Facebook is for, like, funny things, quirky things. So Terry's challenged the lads to create a video internet sensation. Make a tower of cars, right, and then see if we can pull one out. What's that game called again? Jenga. Jenga. And, doing that bit of a Jenga thing. And Boyle is keen to be the star of the show. For every car he pulls out, you're going to give him a tenner? What for? Because he's set cars up. Why should I? Why should this be costing me? It's a game. But, but well, oh. why don't you give me a tenner? Yeah, exactly. It's not my company, it yeah. is. It's not mine, neither. Who's <laughs> it, then? Ours. No, fair enough. Ah, well, not no. yours, but <laughs> anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, cut. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Keep going! Come back! It's still there. 
know the tower's still <laughs> This video is really just to like generate more business, you know, keep us on the map. Car Jenga has given Terry another idea for promoting the yard. Since we've been here, we've bailed neck end of two million cars. As long as he can get Lindsay on board. End of day, it's a bit quiet at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just thinking of doing a few bits of things to try and generate a bit more trade and whatnot. It's 21 years this year. 21 year this year? Yeah, so you could like have a, a big million. 21st birthday party. So yes. what, what do you think? Have a, have a do? Uh, karaoke, and that's yeah. what we could call it karaoke, don't we? <laughs> so have your open day on a weekend? Like a Sunday? Yeah, like Sunday, I'd like say Sunday. for that. The decision is made. We're having an open day to create public awareness. You know, it's just to remind people that we're still here and we're approachable and, you know, we've got plenty of cheap car parts on the shelf for them. We need to get this site in Michelle because we need to start, you know, pumping up some business here. In the on-site cafe, Debs and Michelle also need to bring in new customers. Like I say, if you just get one or two from these, it's, it's, it's one or two extra, it's a bonus, isn't it? You might not get a pay rise, Michelle. Yeah, <laughs> I believe that when I see it. They've invested in the new menu. We're just over here. Right, OK, yeah. And now they need to spread the word to Metro's neighbours. Hiya. Hiya. Right. Hiya. Hiya. I don't really know on Metro South. Yeah, yeah, you used yeah. to do Scrappy Scheme for us a couple of years ago. Right, That's yeah, it, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we've actually got a, I've got a cafe inside there. Right. It's, it's a beautiful cafe. Just opened? Uh, actually, I've been opened about four or five years. Because <laughs> nobody years. knows. Yeah, so you didn't know about <laughs> no, it. No, no, no. Yeah. You didn't even know we were there. How bad We that? said, are you, are you up and running? Up and running? We've been running five years. Yeah. yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Who we speaking to? Who we speaking to? <laughs> Would you all all on cook food? All on cook food. Yeah. Could be a little bit more attractive, though. <laughs> That's me. Oh, is that you? Sorry. <laughs> 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 How are you doing? Hiya. We're giving out our menus. All right. We're just over here. All right. Yes, all right, yes. yeah. 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 You can actually show what you wanted from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Making butties when they're embalming. No. no. Come on, let's get back. Terry's ambitious promotional drive has also stepped up a gear. Three bottles of helium, £150 a bottle, to blow up the blimp. I've never had a blimp before, this is the first one. It'll be good on the open day, you know. It's just something different. And we've never, I've never stopped trying different things. I just hope that nobody takes a pot shot at it. And with the blimp setting him back a further four grand, it's starting to be a costly venture. It's good, isn't it? It's nice. It's good. I love that. I were hoping it would oh, be. It's okay. Yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> oh, he's on. He's on. I've got it. You're off in every sense of the word. With just a week and a half till the open day, Lindsay's concerned Terry might have overreached himself. See me, see you, see me, see you. I have never known Terry to organise anything. What was the word? In my life. Never. He's very good at organising sheds and cars out, but nothing else, that's it. OK, now then. You've got full control. I'm a scrap man, I'm not an event organiser. I'm decent enough at organising the staff. But organising open days, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch out for boat burns. We're all trying to help out best we can, but on top of that, we're still trying to help our customers out with parts they need, so it's all a bit stressful at the minute. Right, OK. Well, you pulling it. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Yeah, I haven't got a clue what the arrangements are for the open day. We don't know what we're doing, and to tell you the truth, I don't even know what staff's turning up. It can sell all to police helicopters when it comes round. <laughs>
With a scrap metal empire to run and a major promotional event just a week away, Terry needs all the staff behind him. Are you actually doing some work today, what? Yeah, yeah. What I've decided to do is give out free umbrellas and free wellies. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so where can we get some wellies from? Are you actually being serious? Yeah, why? <laughs> Who wants free wellies? Kids? No, we don't. Of they do. do they <laughs> egg? Why not? <laughs> no, they'd be much happier with a free ice cream. But today, there's one notable absentee, Boyle. He's made it onto the internet, but not for car Jenga. How are you doing, mate? All right? Yeah, I've just come up for have a quick chat about uh, Boyle. Office manager Ian has found out he's been arrested, as the incident was posted on the police website. There's something on GMP police here about Boyle. On Sunday, a male was arrested whilst riding an off-road bike in a dangerous manner. He was initially issued with a warning but made off and was arrested after committing several further offences by officers also riding off-road bikes. Yeah? So he's been stopped once? So he's been stopped once. He's got jumped back on the bike and done one. So they've chased him, so he's gone on a chase and eventually they've caught him. My understanding well, is up someplace near his house. I'm very disappointed in him, yeah. I tell you. Yeah, done himself no favours at all. Boyle has worked at the yard since he was 14, often testing Terry's patience. I haven't given you permission to buy anything. Everything's got to be through a proper procedure, yeah? You crack on and do the job right. But he came good last week when he passed his crane test. Boyle, you managed to get all 15. Yeah! <laughs> With Boyle now facing multiple charges for driving offences, it's a blow for Terry. Boyle? Hey. I'll come in, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a drink, right? Uh, yeah. You've, you've got some uh, hard times ahead of you now, you know that, don't you? Hard times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very hard times. I don't I don't get it, though, me, why you keep doing it. I don't understand why you just... I've not been done for know, ages, I... have I? Well, you've not been caught, like, but I know, but... I just don't, I mean, I don't get it, why you just jumped, jumped on bike and... A couple more lads were out on bikes as well. I met them down that. So you're going to have a couple of court cases, aren't you? I think they'll just make an example of you. What do you mean by that? By, by sending you to prison. They might just do that. Mm. You know, just silly, absolutely stupid. I don't know, after all that time, you know, all that work you've put in to get through your testing, you know what I mean? Just things are plodding on now. You actually found a place at the yard, you know, where, where you know, you're making some benefit. Mm. Now there's a chance we might lose you for six months. I don't know. Might even be inside for Christmas. It's very disappointing where we're at right now today. Uh, all the work we've put into him, working with him for the last two and a half years, and especially the last six to seven weeks, because it's like a backward step. It's going to put him right back to where he was sort of like a couple of years ago. That's my fear. Well, Terry, Terry's obviously, like, wound up a bit, isn't he? You know what I mean? Cos he's done all that for me and then I've done that. I know it's wrong and I shouldn't have done it, but I'm sorry for doing it, I know. So, I don't know. The meeting with Boyle is playing on his mind and in the yard, Terry is feeling the strain. You know exactly what you've got to do. Get it done! With the open day looming and a long list of things left to do, he's taken his frustrations out on anyone in his path. You're trying to write these while you're driving, aren't you? No. You are, I can tell you're writing. Get your top on! Why will you not wear a metro top? Two minutes, then you can decide what you're doing with it. Tag it up and stack it. We're all getting the flat for it now. Everyone's getting it in the ear. Terry's day goes from bad to worse. Away from the cameras, he vents his anger on the occupants of the cafe, and it boils over to a full-blown row with Lindsay. I'm done. That's me done. Seriously. He's treats his staff like. That's it. End off. That's the star. It's all up in the air. I mean. 
Terry and Lindsay are at it. Gemma's upset. Everybody's upset. It's just got volatile. I I'm going to end up being a lonely old man. That's what I've told. I've got to get my bags packed and get out now. I've never really seen them have a go at each other. They usually keep, if it, anything's going on, they usually keep it at home. So it was a surprise to me that, that they'd gone on at cafe. I heard about it when I come down. I seen, you know, Terry quite stressed walking out yard, Lindsay in cafe, quite upset. So I'll bring my boxing gloves in tomorrow for them. For daughter Gemma, the argument is more than just office gossip. But I've lost it. I was crying, Mum were crying, Natalie were crying. And it was just a bad day. I know they have a lot of stress, but I think I just think in my head, they'll get through it, they'll get through it. If they didn't, then, then that'll it'd bring me to a standstill. I've not had a good day today, to be honest. Lindsay's really got the up with me, big time. I don't know what's going to happen with the open day, mate. I, I really don't, until I speak to them and at the moment we're not talking. I just don't know what to do, whether I don't even feel like going home. It's crazy. The following morning, things haven't improved. She's not speaking to me. She's not slept in the same bedroom as me. So um, I don't know where we're up to. As far as I'm concerned, last another thing she said was get your bags packed and get out. But it, you know, at the end of the day, I've still got to make. So I always still make Lindsay's breakfast, even though I didn't make. She didn't make me tea. It's just one of them things. The employees within the yard, they saw Lindsay giving me a good shouting at yesterday. So, to me now, it's like they'll be thinking that I'm weak. So, I'm just going to go in and sort of like see how the land lies. Quiet at all, it's quiet, it's quiet, you know. Is it quiet? Yeah, silent, movie. Silent, silent treatment. Hiya, John, you all right? All right, you're breaking up. I am really, to be honest, pissed off with him and I've had enough right at this moment. I can't keep tolerating all the stress from work and stress here as well. It's too much, I'm, I'm getting no rest. What about Lindsay, though, because she's really upset, isn't she? She's... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, do... I mean don't get me wrong, your, your relationship's like granite. It's rock hard, it's solid, do you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm glad you think that, because it uh, doesn't feel that way to me right now. Does it now? Well, everybody goes through blips. Everybody goes through it, do you know what I mean? It's a blip. You do. It's hard, isn't it? You, there's, there's a, it's very complicated. It's not like we own this one house and you have that half or I'll, you know, we'll sell it, I'll have half of that. And, it's not like that, it's too complicated. But maybe it's something we have to talk about, I don't know. What, spitting up? I don't know. Maybe. On top of everything else, Terry is also trying to support Boyle. Hi there, morning. Alex Patterson, solicitor. Uh, uh, Hi. Terry Walker. Nice to meet you. Now, <laughs> as I understand it, there are five charges against you. Yeah. Um, dangerous driving, failure to stop at an accident, driving an unregistered off-road Honda, driving without a policy of insurance, and no rear brake. Is that correct? Yeah. OK, so tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, well, I work at Metro Salvage. What's that? Terry. Scrap yard. OK. What do you so, do there? We break cars, you know, strip them down and stuff, innit? it? Yep. All in all, he's a good person. It's just that with the... Is it AHD? AEHD. OK. You've got, you've got yeah, that. So. And do you think with the right influence that, you know, you, you can be positive and, and moving forward with your career and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always think positive, but I just have them, you know, silly days. 
Mm. Like this, I yeah. get into all. Worst case scenario, in the Crown Court, you look at six months custody or a fine. I hope that on the day he gets a bit of divine intervention and he has a bit of luck from the big man upstairs and he looks down and says that some of these charges are, are, are not valid. A couple of them, you know, everybody deserves a chance. Boyle won't know his fate until the case goes to court in a month's time. After their publicity campaign, Debs and Michelle are awaiting an influx of new customers. It's now 25 to 1. <laughs> and I'll think that out of all the menus, <laughs> we're doing <laughs> menus today, we've had one. <laughs> and that's, that's Josh who comes to us every day. <laughs> well, I've not seen, I've not had any strangers in. Well, there's been one or two. I'm sure there were one in before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only had a cup of coffee. Alright. But yeah, I it's. I charged him for it. Did you pay you? No. Do you know what I don't earn no money? Should we get to charge him? <laughs> <laughs> With the open day fast approaching, Lindsay is still giving Terry the cold shoulder. So he's concentrating on a last minute publicity push for the event. Hi everyone, it's Terry here at Metro Salvage. We're trying to raise loads of money for the kids of Bolton. It's going to be big and it's going to be on Sunday the 20th of October. Visit Tower FM online for more info. Smashing. And Super. that is a wrap. Smashing green. There's two things that are very important to me now. That's having a bit of success on the open day. But the main, the main thing is, the main priority is to make up with Lindsay and get back on track. You know, I, I'm still working away, but in my mind I'm thinking, you know, I'm fell out with wife. I don't like being fell out with her, but, you know, everybody falls out from time to time. It's just we fall out a little bit more than others. But we always make up in the end, but you, you often think to yourself, one day we might not. of the open day. So we'll open up. What we'll do first is um, them, them two cars, we'll put them here. Well, here we go. Spuds are on, hot dogs are on. What more can I say? We're organised. Till later, till we run out of everything because I'm not bought enough. I've spent a lot of money, a few hundred. A few hundred. So I'm hoping I get a few hundred back if I don't arm up this one over there to battle. But there you go. It's just, we just need the, the masses to come now. The multitude. Straight up. Keep going. Keep right, stop. Yeah, it's all coming together. One, two, up. I'm apprehensive, to be honest, because it's 21 years we've not, we've not done nothing like this before. So, yeah, I'm apprehensive, but I did sleep last night. Still not talking to Lindsay, you know. Lindsay's not sure if she's going to turn up, but the yard's 21st birthday means a lot to her. I would have, personally, not done anything else to help him after that day. He didn't deserve our help, really. But it's, it's everybody else. It's been advertised, radio and everywhere, so I, people are looking forward to it, so we've had to carry on grain and burn it. The gates are open and the yard is slowly filling up with what Terry hopes are future customers. He spent 10 grand in total, so there's a lot riding on its success. The sun's coming out. And the lads have risen to the occasion. I've not come with anybody. I've just sort of got out of bed. This is our dress every week. <laughs> well, I'm Cleopatra, and this is my mate, the Oak. 
Just me mad. And yeah. Yep. The open day gets into full swing and over 250 people have turned up to enjoy it. Although there's still someone missing. But finally, she makes an appearance. Just like Cruella de Vil. That's what she's like at all. So that's always good. So there's plenty of people turned up. So it's, it's, it's been really good. Who's next? This gas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there enough chips, Sergio? Yeah, I'll have one or two. I'll have one or two. This would be fantastic every day. Do you know what I mean? I'd be able to get my new car in no time. After 21 years running the yard, Terry mounts the grab and crushes the two millionth car. But crushing a car is the easy job. Sit down. Well. How do you think oh, it's gone? Sure. It's what? been good. It's been a good turnout, hasn't it? On, on the whole, though, would you do it again? I don't know about that. All that um, hassle that happened. Can we, can we finally put that to the back of us now? Not much choice, have I, really? Well, I'm sick of emailing you from the front room to, <laughs> to the middle room now. All right, then you've got one last chance and that's it. What do you mean, one last chance? One last chance for your behaviour. And that's it, end of. You won't be nice to me from now on. Yeah. All right, then. Nothing. And so you have a power up then, aren't you? No, I'll give you a little cuddle with power up later. <laughs> We're friends now. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. It's a funny thing with me and Lindsay, because when you're married for so long, you start taking people for granted. Sometimes I forget about that with the job. So to make up with Lindsay has put the icing on the cake for me today. She's given me another chance to start from ground zero. <laughs> Work up. Absolutely brilliant, Kate. Oh, come on, brilliant. Come on, mother. I've enjoyed every minute. <laughs> Well, this is the life, isn't it? This is the life. The yard's not good when Terry's not around. There's no direction. I've got no option. Coat on, you need to go home, yeah. right? You'll get paid up to now. Keep on top of them or else they won't make no money and then we'll have no business left. I can't take excuses. We're losing money. I feel like I want to be there to step it up. 